Hey guys. Hi guys. So we're trying to unthaw out here in Houston, Texas. Uh, woke up. Nice and bundled up. We gotta yeah. go outside. <laughs> this morning we woke up to about 17 degrees, and that's pretty cold here in Houston. Um, Robert uh, did not go to work today. He he called in sick, and he or called in weather, not yeah, sick. Yeah, not sick. There's a weather code. Yeah. He never does that, so I was surprised that he did that. Because yeah. yesterday, yesterday. Today's Tuesday. So Monday, the worst of the weather, he tried to drive to work. And like an hour, an hour, I was uh, talking to Bennett and because Bennett was at GM Pops and Bennett said, Dad just told me he's not going to make it to work. He's coming home. So I looked at him on Life 360 and he was only like what would have been 20 minutes from the house. It took him an hour to get there. And he's like, yeah, the roads are real bad. I'm trying to, I'm, I slid a couple of times. I'm like, get your butt home. You're crazy. Anyways. <laughs> we'll see you guys a little bit. We're going to bundle up and go outside. And there's a bunch of you guys commenting saying we need to level the RV. So we're going to attempt to level the RV. We're going to attempt it. Yeah, we're going to hook the generators back up and then level it down some. The front is kind of kicked up. We're going to level it down. So All we're right. going to bring you guys with us. So come on. Oh yeah, somebody said make sure our water heater is turned off. Because if not, it could burn it up. We don't want that to happen. So we definitely need to check that hot water heater. Got our little safety plug in there. we have guys right here it's the only ice <laughs> it's from our uh, the septic sprinklers we had a couple little icicles hanging off of our barn and our roof this morning early but I mean we didn't get anything too bad we stay very warm hot water here There's a breaker or something to turn off. Mm. Oh, no. This is for gas. No, that's for gas to light it. So it's not electric anyway. No, I don't know about that. Hmm. Better Google it. Yeah. Should be somewhere in there, but the yeah. Oh, look with that switch by the sink. Oh, yeah. Somebody said that was a hot water heater. Yeah, one's gas and electricity. Oh, they're both turned off. They're both turned okay, off. that's good. There's no water to them. That's we good. never checked this though. Auto. It should be on auto, and it picks up either one. Okay. We left when you going to close this up. Yeah. I was hoping Kim and I could work on our little fireplace, but it's been way too cold for that. And then this weekend, it's supposed to be cold again, right? Yes. I can't even work on my headboard. Stuff shuts down at, at, at under 40 degrees, it just shuts down. Here in Houston, it's over 40 degrees. <laughs> That's it. Works comes with a screeching halt. <laughs> yeah, they canceled school. No school today. The colleges were closed. Both the boys had no college. Yeah. So. But tomorrow will be good. All the we, all the ice is off the roads now, so it'll be back to normal tomorrow. Yeah, back to normal. Yeah. All right. right. We can go ahead and try to level it. The hot water heater is good. Yeah. So both of them. Everything's gas turned and, off. Both gas, electricity, either or, it can run on gas or electric is off. Okay. Good job. All right. Hook up a bottle, propane bottle. I'm trying to gas this. We could. Sure. Let's do it. I'm just so adventurous. Let's do it. Let's see if it's got any spark. Oh, I saw a spark. 
Yes, I see a spark. I see sparks. Let me see this spark again on this front one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I saw the spark. Put some biscuits in there. I cleaned it pretty good, but it just needs a little... Actually, it wasn't too dirty at all, but it just needs a little easy off in there. Yeah. be nice. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right, let's level this down there. Come on. All right, level it down. Oh, my gosh. We just opened that, and this that. definitely needs to be cleaned here. Yes. Hooey. What is that? Uh, High voltage... Oh, is that the breaker box? Oh, that's too high. Mm -hmm. the refrigerator? The, probably, yeah. Yeah, the compressor and stuff. Yeah, I knew that was a compressor, so I'm like, that's got to be the refrigerator. Definitely got to be cleaned out. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to clean that right now. So we'll get the shop Back back. Up. Get that cleaned up. That's huge. Oh, my gosh. These dirt daubers are terrible. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, there's a lot of cleaning there. Yes. Let's go ahead and try to level it. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Look at my windmill, you guys. Can you see my windmill? It's spinning so fast. That's out of the north, and it is cold. And I have to take my gloves off. No, it's coming down. It comes down on top of those, babe. Look about the black thing at the very top. Let me get back here. We're not going to do it super duper level, guys, but everybody keeps saying that we need to have it more level. A little bit more, babe. So we're going to level it more. We're going to try to down some. What is the oh, these cats? Them two are always fighting. Ah. Yeah, now those have to come down. We got it leveled. your advice somebody said where the switch was for the hot water heater and somebody told us it needs to be level and somebody told me that was wood tape on the screws and so i listened we listened i'm just gonna clean this out oh, God. your electricity's on right now though so be careful oh, God. 
There's a Maybe plug. Look, plug there's it. a plug right here. Oh, okay. Can you just unplug it? Just gonna, just gonna plug. Let's turn them off right now. Yeah, that's probably yeah. smart. Oh, there's no power now. Yeah. Come on, hook Way cleaner now. Yes, Can you guys see that? Look how clean it is now. There's a big old wasp nest there. there. It was humongous wasp nest. Look at that. It's crazy. And the mud daubers. And these big old huge dirt dauber pieces. Man, you cannot take your gloves oh, off for that. any other time. It's ice, my fingers. I mean, as soon as you take your gloves off, your fingers are like frozen. I don't know. My fingers are like ice. Hold mm. that. Hold that. I could not be an outside worker in this weather. Well, you just gotta have the right gloves. That's the thing. You gotta have the right equipment. I'm not built for it. I'm a, I'm a South Texas girl. I'm not built for it. Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to get the right clothing to deal with it. I'm from Ohio, so we're used to cold weather up there. We used to wear, it's funny, we used to put gloves on and then when I was a little kid, my mom would get old um, bread bags. And then we put a bread bag on, and then we put our mitten over that. And to that was, keep your hands dry, yeah. your mittens got wet. And That's another cool. thing we used to do when we were little, our mittens had a string on them, and they went all the way through the back of your jacket and come out the other side. So you took your mittens off, you'd never lose them. Oh, they was always hooked in your, your jackets. jackets. Yeah. It's pretty smart. Yeah. They came like that or your mom no, did that? No, my mom made them. Oh. Yeah. That's really smart. So you never lose your mittens that way. That's and you guys, true. anybody from up north, you don't want to lose your gloves. And we used to walk home in the snow. Actually, we pulled our sled. Oh, come on. Were you barefooted and going no, up there? No, no, no. But we did. <laughs> we, took a, a, we took our sled to school in the morning. And then we put our books on our sled, like bungeed them on there, and then pulled our sled home. Well, that would be kind of a fun way to go to school. It was fun going to school because we lived, the town kind of went down in the slope. So in the but afternoon, away, you're going uphill, uphill yeah. pulling your sled uphill. Yeah. It's not bad. We also had alleys too in, in Dalton, Ohio. Behind the houses, they had an alley. So we've just used the alley. We didn't really get on the main road. So, so I interesting. I think we're gonna cut it off here. I just rode a school bus and it was always warm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the buses were hot in the summer. Well, that, was just, the summer. that was just the normal, though. Just the all, normal. All the kids walked to school back then. It wasn't abnormal. Yeah. All the kids did. If your parents took you to school, you'd be the weird, the different kid. The weird one because your parents <laughs> drove you to school. school. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're gonna go inside and get warmed up because both of our hands are freezing. No way. I want to turn it back oh, okay. on and check that refrigerator see if it come on better. Oh, okay. Auto um, is for. He says, if it's flashing for gas, check if flashing. That's only on gas, I guess. Oh yeah, gas check is flashing. Yeah, if the gas is flashed, that's on gas though. So what if it means flashing on electric? It don't work. I don't know, babe. We never left it on. I don't, the compressor hadn't kicked on. It may be no bueno. No bueno in the refrigerator, I'm guessing. Well, you need to let it run for a while. Yeah. Well. All right. Switch right now. Switch the off. Oh, it's not flashing, yeah, yeah, it's flashing <laughs> All right, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to conquer that another day. All right, guys, we're about to close this out. We're back in the house, we're getting warmed up. Just look at the camera. 
Tony wanted to look at the camera. I wasn't trying to see. He's got one ear up and one ear down. He won't Tony, right Soprano, now. look at the camera. No, don't look at me. Look at the camera. <laughs> look at the camera. He doesn't know. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. This baby distracts me constantly. Robert says, Robert goes, why do you talk to me like he's a person? I said, because he's my baby. Okay, well, um, thank you for hanging out with us. I'm Tina. I'm Rob. This is Tony. We're living off the hill. And we're living off the hill. Bye. Bye, y'all.